for a film like The Grandmaster, I cannot ask just an action star to play Yip Man because it's not the spirit of these characters. So I need a good actor, and I have one. But the problem is he never practiced martial art. Would that be too late at, at the age of 47 to practice martial art? But he wanted to do it. He said, well, I, I haven't made any Kung Fu film before. I've made all kinds of roles. And this, this, this is something that I want to do. And in fact, uh, after this film, you can see the spirit of Yip Man, all, all this training, stay with him. He, he looks a little, little bit different now. I, I hate acting. I always want to borrow something from their own characters. I custom made uh, a, a role for them. So it's not Tony Leung playing Yip Man. And I would say, well, what if Yip Man is like Tony Leung? I think to be a, uh, a director, sometimes uh, you need to have certain uh, hunch. You have to believe in, in, in some gut feelings. And, and sometimes when you have a shot, maybe a setup, and you may intend to do it this way, but end it up differently, or maybe because of the light, you said, well, why don't we take a shot here? You don't have exactly where to put it, at that point, but somehow you know you are going to use it. And not until you finish the picture, when you put everything together, you realize, in fact, it is a very important point. Without this point, this structure is, will be impossible. There's certain thing is so spontaneous, and it's almost like a happening. You cannot do it twice. Some actors, they like encouragement. Some actors, they prefer to to have pressure and sometimes for some actors it's better to 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 give your comment by silence but at the end of the day is uh, uh, cinema is about like visuals so you have to think as a director how to deliver a line or a scene or how to use this music visually <laughs> My film is always about hope. It's, it's really about longing as something better. <laughs>